Hi, Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I wanted to give a candid view of what's been going on. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I've been in bed. I got back up and I figured while I have a little energy, I at least should let you know what happened. I couldn't hardly breathe. I went through it for two weeks because I lived through pneumonia twice without having to run all over the place. And God has always helped me get rid of it. But this time it wasn't going away. It was getting worse. And I thought I had maybe either walking pneumonia or double pneumonia because I felt it in both my lungs. Well, it was also, I thought I had a real a real bout with a gas attack because I felt like there was so much going on. There was no room to eat. I could hardly eat for two weeks. If you added up all the food I ate, it was probably about two breakfast plates over the whole two week period because it was, it was very uncomfortable to eat. So I didn't. By the day that I went to the hospital, I threw up three times. I'm not given to throwing up. So I knew that meant something even more serious than I thought. Well, as it turned out, I had, um, they had to attach something to my chest and that thing hurt. And yes, I'm a chicken. But God kept me so at peace. I just had to deal with the discomfort. So, but they drained a full liter of fluid from around my heart. They diagnosed me with congestive heart failure. Then three days later, I went into a coffin fit and I filled the bag up in 20 minutes because I had a bag hanging on my side that was draining from my heart. And from that point on, for the rest of the week, because they wouldn't take it out at that point, for the rest of the week, I did not... <laughs> drain any more than maybe 70 cc's which is equivalent to maybe two ounces over the whole five-day period so finally this past saturday they took it out and that hurt but anyway it was creepy it's like something crawling around in your heart it was it, oh lord i hope i never have to go through that again so i just want to um at least thank you so much for your prayers i've never ever, ever spent a night in a hospital in my life. So this was really an adventure that I never, I never dreamed or um, aspired to embarking on. And um, I'm not one to run to doctors because I had asked God to be my personal physician. Well, every once in a while, your personal physician refers you somewhere else. And God knew I had a real desperate situation. I didn't know it was that desperate. So I just wanted to thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much on YouTube, on my, on my website, on Facebook, all you guys, my family, my friends. Thank you so much for your prayers. That was the most important thing. If I didn't get visits, I wanted the prayers. That was important to me. And um, I really thank you for that. Um, I wanted to say this too as a, um, a high five to God. Let me tell you, I am a chicken going to a doctor's office. I called the paramedics at 10 at night. The paramedics came and got me. I never felt an ounce of fear. God had me in so in such perfect peace. It was so against my natural, you know, you know, my nature, my my uh yeah, my ways. It was just so opposite me. I was so at peace. God had given me a few encouraging words to let me know. He had this, and yes, he would heal me. So I asked him to pick, hand choose, because of how I am, hand choose the staff that took care of me round the clock until he sent me home. He did just that.
I literally felt like royalty. I had never been catered to. I had never been taken care of. And and I, it, it's just, you know, I was, I'm usually the one doing something, you know, for somebody else. You know how that goes. You know, there are people that just tend to get the caregiving jobs. But I have never been in that position where people had to take care of me. It was not embarrassing. I wasn't fearful. I cannot tell you. It was actually a beautiful experience. The room they gave me had a, had a beautiful view. The sunset was magnificent daily. I mean, I'm telling you, it was, I would never have expected staying in a hospital with hospital food to be as pleasant as this was. And it wasn't that the food was pleasant. You know, it's same old hospital food. But when you know that they're doing this to help you heal, you tolerate the food, you tolerate whatever you have to tolerate, and you don't complain because it's all for your good. So you make it easy for people to work for you, to work with you, to help you. You don't make it hard on them. They're trying their best for you. And that's what they did for me. And I so appreciate we had prayer. I mean, it was just, it was just such a beautiful God-given experience. And I knew that God, the promise he gave me after Milton passed away, when he told me I'm taking care of you now, I knew that God was still fulfilling that promise. So now I'm at the point where, I, you know, just to let you know what, what they diagnosed me with. They gave me every test under the book, cancer, lupus, I mean, everything, kidneys. I mean, they went through me like a fine tooth comb. And the feeling I had was that God was going to prepare me after, re, uh, what's the word I'm looking for when you do a car, after doing the refurbishing and the overhaul that he was going to begin building me up, edifying me and equipping me for service again. So I ask you to pray for me continually that I will follow instructions and I will do what I'm supposed to do and will not deviate because I want my healing, you guys. I don't play with that. I, I stopped eating hot dogs 20 years ago. I stopped eating pork. I can't even tell you how long ago. So there are a lot of things. I mean, I'm, I'm basically 95% vegetarian, and I've been that way for the last several years. So I just, I'm saying all that to say, if they say 1,500 cc's of liquid, I'm staying below that because I'm not going to play games. I'm not going to get stubborn and stupid, and I'm not saying I won't because I'm human, but I'm saying by God's grace, I'm determined to see this thing through by the letter so that within two or three months or four, whatever, they'll tell me, oh, you no longer need any of these meds. Do you hear what I'm saying? I want to cooperate with God's healing. So I'm getting ready to go back to bed. I'm not going to push myself, but I do want to tell you, God took beautiful care of me through the hospital staff. And I will go back to the hospital on a few occasions to thank, you know, to catch the different staff members as they switch shifts to thank them because they really, I, I am telling you, even the doctors, I mean, they, they went through me like a fine tooth comb. I mean, they sifted, they shook, they looked, they investigated, they, every possible thing they could do, they did. And I just, I really thank God for doing what he did in my, you know, for helping me heal, pointing out what needed to be worked on. And um, it, yeah, it's on and cracking now, y'all. I'm on a high pursuit for excellent health. I've been on that, but I didn't know that I was over inundating my system with fluids. I'm already on a low salt uh regimen because I put myself on that. 
I'm already on a low cholesterol regimen. I put myself on it. And I'm already on a low fat and low, low, I mean, all this other stuff, low sugar. I put myself on that years ago. You know, when you're heavy, you got to go overboard to make sure you stay healthy. And that's what I did. And uh, so now it's just a matter of strengthening what's been corrected and making it a permanent fix. So I solicit your further prayers that God will give me continued wisdom and that he would shorten the period of meds because the meds are not a permanent fix. The condition is not a permanent fix. If I cooperate with instructions, I will be healed. And I believe while I'm cooperating, even if the doctors or the medical field thinks that there's that cloud hanging over you, God can remove the cloud and it'll never come back again because of my efforts. Because he sees me at least trying by faith. So I just want to tell you that, um, yeah, it was a crazy thing. I could have died and I found that out once I got to the hospital. But I'm not dead. And God told me he would heal me. So me and God are going to be a real tight team on this one. And I pray for your for your ongoing prayers that God will help me get to that point where it is no longer a threat in my life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Now you'll see me pacing myself. I won't be putting a whole lot of videos like I've been doing. I'm going to pace myself. I'm going to really take my time getting this thing together. And um, so don't get frustrated if you don't see five videos a week. It may be down to one or two a week. But that is because I'm pacing myself. That's what they told me to do. Take it easy. Pace it for now. And that's what I'm doing for now. God bless you all. And thank you. Pat Love over and out and back to bed in Jesus' name. <laughs>